report again and at my familiar thank you page that I uh, have, have uh, talked about in other videos. Um, so today I want to talk about these colors. So I, you know how I love um, having a cons consistent branding and consistent colors. So in Entre Pages, you can put your colors in here and you can either, you can just use a color picker if you want, uh, or you can put in your codes. So I highly recommend having your color codes and you just click on each one. And in Entre Pages, it gives you categories of colors. So whatever your primary color is, um, which I could have switched these two up, my primary is sometimes that, that red, and then my dark is that blue. And then there's my light blue, and I always keep a white, and actually Ultra Pages has a, a spot just for the white as well. So, uh, yeah, you can pick and choose your, your colors and put your exact colors in using the codes that we, um, that I, I love using the color codes. Now, another fun tip is once you do this, so do this initially, when you first open up the page to create it, go in and put your colors in and save it. And then when you're doing another page, if you don't use this as a template, which I always end up using this as a template, or when, uh, if you get the email system as well and end up starting the emails, but you already have entre pages with this set up, when you go into color suggestions, it gives you your palette that you made in, in past pages or emails as an option. So then you can just click on it and hit save. And that was my favorite thing to learn because it saves so much time uh, if you decide you want to use a different template uh, and uh, change up the colors, then it's just a really easy color change. What else can I? Show you what the colors oh so in entreport each of the block they have block color options so i will change this mm, it's not changing on that one might be that it won't do it in the headers i'll pick a different block to play with to show you the block colors thing this one should do it so the block color options it's on one and this is why they they give you the categories of light, dark, and complementary, and main, and things like that. So I could do um, that as a block color. I could do this as a block theme, which, with given my colors of text, doesn't really look great. This is one. This is another one. Uh, but obviously, I, I have the right one here. So those are just, you can go back and forth. And as you can see, I've got the darker block here and have uh, changed up the, the colors of everything to go with it. So that's my entreport color tips for today.